Hey, this has been a man 20 here tonight. And just want to remind you, just because you see me handle reptiles a certain way does not mean that you should ever try it. I've been doing this for 18 years now, and I have quite a bit of experience doing such. But tonight I just got home from work and was checking out the alligator's cage because I just replaced the filtration system in the water, and it's been doing real good keeping up. Well, um, apparently grabbed a hold of the main hose for the outtake, the water coming out of the filtration, and grabbed a hold of and death rolled quite a bit. Um, unfortunately, I am out of food, and he is hungry, and I need to get in there and fix that ASAP. So I am going to, well, more or less thump him on the nose, and that's a lot of nerve endings in there, so that'll kind of snap him out of the food aggression for a couple seconds and hopefully I can push him back and let him know that I'm not feeding him that I just need to get in there because he's going nuts right now as we speak. You don't want to use your hand for this job. You're going to want to use some kind of tool. I should say you. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I do not advise any novice to try this. Yet again, unfortunately, my doors open up, so just getting him back away from the door is going to be hard enough. Get back. This looks violent, but the end of this is real soft. I drop it on my foot all the time, and it doesn't do anything. Okay, get that over. Hey, get back in there. Back up. You can just put pressure on his nose, and he'll back up out of the way. Get back. Gotta get my little wedge in here to hold up my door. Get back. Back up. I just say back up, he does not know words. And I'm just using snake up. Get back. Get back. No, most of the action's off camera right now. Get back. I have to actually get down into the water to do this. I gotta get him all the way out of my way. Get back. Keep going. Keep going. Stay there. No. Now come back around to me. Get back. Let's see. I'm going to get a back up just in case this goes bad. Which I've never had any trouble doing this, but there's always a first. You don't want to take that chance if you can avoid it. Get back. yourself, buddy. Turn right around. Oh. <clears throat> okay, we're over here to the hose now. He just destroyed it. As you can see, it's just a giant knot. I'm hooked from the filtration system. Let's see if we can pull it on through. Got all lined up in here so he couldn't get it out. But unfortunately, now it's going to be hard for me to get out too. Probably just going to have to replace the hose. As you can see, he just totally kinked and just destroyed the end of that. It's pretty mangled. I'm sure he could have did worse, but it's all flattened out, so I'll just replace that. But I got this new pond filtration system. This drum right here is the actual filtration part. It's got all the filters and everything in there. And right here is the actual pump. This filter is about 800 gallons of water an hour. Calm yourself. Um, got it weighted down with a brick right now. Of course, I got it all on cloak so I could do this. Let me see. Okay, good. I want to make sure it didn't leak out of my tank. Hey, calm yourself. Back up. Got that taken care of. As you can see from the water, 
I did cut this down quite a little bit because it took me forever to get this hose actually fed down through here but as you can see I do have it up and going again as you can tell from the water it has been down for I don't know probably at least 12 hours I'm surprised I didn't notice it but it looks like he's got a little scab on his nose I don't know how that happened maybe he bumped up against a brick or probably whenever he's doing the death roll I'll probably have to do some medicating that so we'll probably do that here soon my videotape that too and just throw it in at the end of the video hope you all enjoyed that have a good night it's been a man 20